내가 알던 덤블링이 아니네 미국 사람들이 뜨겁게 반응하고 있습니다 한 가지에 빠지면 끝없이 빠지는 민족 그런 미국이 얼마나 푹 빠졌는지 다큐멘터리까지 만들었다고 하는데요 이것이 리얼 만두 한국 만두에 홀린 미국인들의 이야기입니다 어쩌면 만두로 한국군이 되고 싶다는 청년들도 나타났는데요 한국의 케이만드 신드롬 다큐멘터리 시청률이 54%를 달성하게 되었다고 합니다 만두 속과 영상 안엔 어떤 것들이 담겨져 있는지 살펴보도록 하겠습니다 In America, they are already so famous. Exactly, dumpling. It is usually sold by the Chinese in the town of China, outside the city. Hygiene seems pretty bad, and it's made with flour in it. It's not so good, it's a level of food that's sold a lot, but it's not so popularized. Recently, there was a big craze for similar food in the United States. It's the dumplings of Korea. The k m e n d u syndrome opened in the United States. It is said to be a flag state. that is missing from large marts such as Walmart and Trader Joe and cannot sell them. In fact, South Korea's dumplings say the revenue they get from overseas markets is 820 billion won. The first Korean dumplings in the United States were in 2018. It is also a big figure with 200 billion won over sales since the first year. Starting with that, US sales even surpassed South Korean sales for the first time ever. as it passed 300 billion won in 2019. So Korean dumplings have become the best dumplings in the American food specialty mashed selection. It feels very strong that Bivido in South Korea is focusing on US market strategy, participated in K-Culture Festival KCON 2020 to LA in Los Angeles, California, USA. I worked on marketing by performing various food events, including the flagship product Vibigo Mandu. The US market share of grocery dumplings, which was 26.9% in 2019, is paying off, expanding to 41.1% last year. Kimchi Wang Mangbu, presented at the p o l m u a n in Korea, is a blend of kimchi and pork. It's said that this adds a resilient texture and has a balanced taste. The spicy meadow sauce is chopped off, and if you're not eating spicy food well, you can top it with cheese to add a softer flavor. EDC. The availability of colorful applications also served as an element of positive evaluation. f u l m y o n of South Korea has launched various new Korean products such as dumplings, kim, and banchan to the United States and hit the market. In fact, in the US market, Korean food products, let alone dumplings, are taking their seats. As the thin-skinned, full-speed dumplings came out, the Americans were missing, so they could go through a nail. an absolute tumult. The mashed freezer is easy to store, but it's a great dinner menu that can be easily cooked and eaten. Vizigo and Kolmu dumplings in Korea are always required to be packed in the freezer. Many people think that Americans will only eat hamburgers. In fact, it's an honest position, even in our America, that individual tastes change and that the hamburgers we've enjoyed for so many years get sick. So even the dumpling in Chinatown, which wasn't terrific, was probably home to people who were buying it in a pinch. By the way, Korean dumplings were really dishes with the word syndromes. It is cooked with meat, tofu, and vegetable EDC cattle in flour skin. In fact not only from Korea, but also from Northeast Asia, from Southeast Asia, Central Asia, South Asia, Eastern Europe, and South America, there are various country-specific definitions. or designations for dumpling only pleases your mouth, but also makes it easy for your hands, so you can't help but be loved. What sets Korea's dumplings apart from those of neighboring countries is that tofu and the immediate aspect are almost essential to the material. They started adding ingredients with weak taste to call the amount of meat they lack. I don't want that to be the biggest law that Korean dumplings have been able to take over the United States. When there was a Korean wind, rice cake fry, and Sunday also started a large syndrome. In fact, it was limited to seeing as much effect as dumplings. The reason is that the most similar texture of the preferred taste is dumplings. A dumpling with meat cows that's not too glabrous, or too, unfamiliar, is a dish loved by Americans. Mangdu is a really delicious dish. It's delicious to be steamed and fried in oil. And these dumplings have infinite possibilities. You can eat the dumplings individually, and the taste of the dumplings, which unfold according to what sauce you take when you eat them individually, is more colorful than the rainbow. Not only that, but it is also possible to use it in many dishes. In fact, in Korea, 
the quayside is one of the foods that can be easily accessed. There is probably a big craze in the US soon. Maybe the dumplings have now gone too deep into America's daily routine. I don't want to imagine an American without Korean. In fact, the deep flavor and texture that I couldn't feel in the Chinese dumplings seems to be the reason Americans couldn't get out of Korean dumplings. Still, it's a price that's not very taxing, and it's the frozen food that our Americans prefer. All the trimesters fit quite accurately. It's an illusion and the strongest. It's easy to eat food dumplings that aren't undernourished. And by the way, when you take a closer look at these dumplings, the impression is on the back of a quick, easy to eat food, high material cost unit price, which owes dough and has to make the filling up to the process of making it in one day. The effort goes in quite a bit. In other words, it's like a maitre of food for the cook. So, no matter how much you make these dumplings into factory units, it's the fact that the process is pretty laborious. The Americans who heard Mondu's story become more fond of Korean dumplings. In the end, even these dumplings feel that they are fully imbued with their identity, that of Korea. So one of the reasons I can only love Korea is the addition. 해외 각국에 관해 살펴보겠습니다. 얼마 전에 월마트 갔다가 만두 한 봉지가 보이는 거지. 잽싸게 날아가서 잡았는데 뒤편에 어린아이를 데리고 온 아주머니가 너무 슬픈 눈을 하고 쳐다보는 거야. 그 만두를 며칠째 기다렸다고. 결국 난그 만두를 양보했어. 너무 소중한 한국의 비비고만 두였지만 오늘 내가 한 배려가 언젠가 두 배가 되어서 돌아오진 않을까? 한국 비비고 회사가 꼭 나의 사례를 들어줬으면 좋겠다. 아무튼 한국 비비고만두 사랑해요. 간편한 음식은 사실 많지. 쉽게 쉽게 먹어 치우면 되는 일이니까 말이야. 그런데 간편하게 먹는 만큼 건강에 해롭다면 사실 결국 안 먹게 되는 날이 오잖아. 그런데 한국만두는 아니라는 거지. 한국만두가 가진 장점이 너무 분명해. 만두는 한국이 갖고 있는 정서를 알차게 담은 모습 같달까. 속이 꽉찬 한국 사람들의 모습이 떠오르는 요리야. 아무튼 난 조만간 한국에 갈 일이 있는데 가면 만두를 종류별로 다 먹어보고 오는 게 목표야. 미국에도 맛있는 게 많은데 한국의 만두가 시장을 점령하고 있다는 게참 신박하다. 그리고 차이나타운에서 덤플링도 꽤 오랜 시간 팔았을 텐데 한국의 만두가 뒤집었다는 것도 신기해. 그만큼 여러 부분에서 한국 만두가 훌륭하다는 거겠지? 나도 언젠가는 김치만두, 곰만두, 물만두, 새우만두, 갈비만두, 만두전골 아무튼 꼭다 먹어보고야 말겠어. 한국의 만두와 중국의 만두는 어찌 보면 생김새는 비슷한 것 같다. 그런데 일단 한입 베어물면 한국의 만두는 겉은 부드럽고 속은 바삭해서 겉바 속촉 식감이 너무 좋다. 또 만두 속에서 느껴지는 풍미 또한 이루 말할 수 없이 좋다. 간단하게 식사를 챙겨 먹으면서도 뭔가 든든한 음식으로 치면 만두를 따라갈 음식이 없는 것 같다. 세상을 보는 눈 만두 이야기를 듣고 나니 알찬 만두 같은 채널이 되고 싶은 마음이 굴뚝 같네요. 구독과 좋아요는 속이 알찬 채널이 되는 데에 큰 힘이 됩니다. 감사합니다.